Hi, uh, hello. Um, some people asked how I did uh, spherical volumes in EV, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, demo to show you how. Um, so let's uh, let's get rid of this cube, and we'll add a uh, UV sphere. Um, let's increase this a little bit. 64 should do the trick. Uh, yeah, that'll be the time there. Uh, let's smooth it anyway. Uh, so this will be our Let's make that our moon. So if we go into um, shading, and we'll just give this a quick default texture. So let's go new, and let's uh, let's just find a uh, desktop. Can I have a desktop easily? Here we go, let's, uh, let's drag this bit of moon on it. Cool, so I've got a moon texture there, we'll do a trick. Uh, we can tweak this and plug it into the bump and stuff like that, but this will do for the time being. Um, and then let's look at it through this look, look here. So let's make the background for it, so I've got the environment, and then uh, let's go to color here, into the noise texture. And then let's go back to the uh, shading layer and we can change this to the world. And then let's uh, let's put in a color ramp in here. And then let's make this a bit more and then let's make this scale like three hundred or something. Cool. And then let's move this color ramp until we've got something a bit like stars. Yeah, do. So then let's make the move it. Let's make the strength a bit bright. Yeah, that'll do us. And then let's get a light in our scene. Where's that? And let's. Uh, well, let's put the light over here, that would be cool. We'll make that a sunlight as well. And we'll reduce it down to like five, five or something like that. And then let's rotate it so we're getting a bit more. Cool, and then let's put a, let's put a camera around here. So I press Control, Alt and Zero, it kind of snaps my camera to my viewport. And then let's also make that a 35mm lens. And then we can center it. Yeah, I'll do. Um, we could probably do another subdivision on that. So let's just subdivide that. And let's just apply that. Yeah, I'll do. So there's our moon. Cool. So now let's duplicate the sphere. And scale it a bit so this is going to be our atmosphere so if we go back to the shading thing here turn it to object so we don't need this moon shade on it so let's kill that and make a new shader for it but let's make this a principal volume so let's give it that uh, shader principal volume yep and let's plug that in there now when you plug it in straight away, it's going to be square, which is not ideal. So if we, uh, I use um, Node Wrangler, so if I press Control T, I get all this business. Um, but you don't need that image text, so I'll kill that. Uh, so I get these text coordinates here, which I'm going to make off the object, because I'm going to use a, it's going to be point based. I'm going to leave that as point based. And then we're going to need a gradient texture here. So let's go search and we'll put in grade, gradient texture. And we're going to make this quadratic sphere. So we plug that into that. And then let's also add another, uh, let's add a, a uh, what's it called? A color ramp in here. And we'll put that into there. And then we'll put this into the density. 
So let's hide our first sphere so we can see what it did. So there we go. <coughs> so we've got the beginning of a spherical volume. So now we can play with this business. So we put, bring our sphere back in. Got a little atmosphere around our moon. And then we can change this as well. So we can actually change the colour of this as well. I think. Oh, maybe we need to put that in there for colour actually, yeah. So now we can change the colour of our atmosphere as well. We'll keep it. We'll give it a whitey, whitey burn and we can change the an anastrophe so it changes how it gets, it's easy to backlight it if we have a higher anastrophe. And then if we also go to our settings here, we go to our um, render settings and turn all this stuff on. Uh, and we'll turn our volumetric up so we make that 4 and we'll make this 128. And that was 32, that are nice, nice high settings. Uh, and there we go, and also it's a bit of a cheat, but if we actually put some um, volume in our scene, I know there's no atmosphere and space, but it always helps with the lighting. get our light and we rotate it so we get a call and let's try our anastrophe to something really high And there you go, kind of a very quick spherical atmosphere and space setup. So that's quite cool. So if we put our camera there. Yeah, let's hit F12 and see what it looks like. Cool. Cheers. Bye.